You know, a while back, some people were saying things like, well, the last person to leave Detroit, please turn out the lights. Well, the lights didn't go out. We surprised a lot of people, didn't we? Channel 7 is very proud to be part of this Detroit comeback story. It's that kind of a town. But to keep the comeback and the dream alive is going to take a whole lot of work. You can be sure of one thing, though. When news is made in Detroit, our lights are going to be on. Channel 7 stands up for Detroit. One reason I like Channel 7 is Bill Bonds. Bill's a detractor. I just like the fact that he says what he thinks. Bill thinks well on his feet. And he asks questions that we would ask. I like the fact that he is controversial. Uh, he's a little controversial, but he's a human being. That's what I like about him, because he makes you think. You're at the heart of it. Seven's a part of it. He's a hometown boy. My favorite person is Bill Bonds. The scoop, the lead, the big story, reporters always looking for it. But the big story is not always the best story. It's seeing an old pal you haven't seen since the World Series. It's your kid winning the Little League Championship. It's Girl Scouts selling cookies. It's the five pounds you lost forever. Really, it's people. Let me tell you, if reporters lose touch with people, they miss some of the best news in town. Bill Bonds, Channel 7 Action News. The best is still made in Detroit. People who live in Detroit are very, very aware of uh, how the rest of the world has an impact on it. When that Navy ship was hit by the rocket, there were six kids from the Detroit area on it. Three of them were killed. That brings the Persian Gulf as close as the Bablo docks. Detroit and Detroiters have a tremendous appetite for information because it affects the way they live. The world's Detroit, Detroit's the world.